CS Art is a small art studio that's for people with disabilities. We have about 45 people coming to one of their classes per week. We've got like six classes. And in that time people come along and they express themselves and it's really about self-worth and it's about well-being. So we find that if people begin to make choices about things as small as whether it's red or blue, that extends out into their lives as well. You know, what else can I make choices about in a safe way? And um, it increases people's confidence, it increases people's value in the community and, you know, participating in like a classroom type situation where people are similar, like-minded, kind to each other. I mean, it's not rocket science, <laughs> it's, um, it's a very good thing. Makes you feel good, you know, even on, you know, I don't really do uh, these sort of things, I, I do various paintings. Mixing with the people and that, because I live on my own, so it's company. It's, it's a word that's sort of bounced around a lot lately, but it's inclusion, and it's about everybody being part of something that's bigger than just yourself. And it's also about um, having value in the community, that is over and above maybe something that these guys don't necessarily experience all the time. And it's about what can be done, because you know our guys have a lot of limitations because of their condition, because of their environment. Necessarily so, because they need assistance. Um, but here, art doesn't, those boundaries aren't here. So the rules are fewer and they get to explore that, which I think has a huge impact on some people. It's pretty important. It's a window into people's soul. We don't take that privilege lightly. You know, it's, it's pretty sacred. And we, we hold it with kit gloves. It's, you know, lovely. <laughs>